things we look at. Oh, hello! <laughs> Hi, you want to be in the video? Yeah? Hi, guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're going to do a video, yeah? We're going to do a video? Oh, thank you. <laughs> what do you want? Oh. I got spit all over my hand. Now I need to go wash my hand. Do you, thank you. D disgusting. What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob, and welcome back to a brand new video. And I got a new hat. Do you like it? <laughs> Can you guess where this hat is from? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> so we are back today with a brand new episode in my professional artist versus a children's coloring book series. Now, the reason I do this series is I want to show you that you don't have to be a child to colour in a children's colouring book. A colouring book is a useful tool, a useful asset for any aspiring artist and a great way for a professional artist to just brush up on their skills. It saves time on doing a complete drawing and let's be honest, doing the drawing is the hardest, well, for most, it's the scariest part. It's scary, it is scary. Looking at a blank sheet of paper, that's pretty intimidating. Well, today we're going to be working with one of the coolest things that nature ever popped out. No, not ducks. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are so awesome. Now to spice things up, I'm not going to be using my professional art tools. I want to see what happens when I use the tools that are supplied. Nah. Nah, forget that. I found this instead. This was next to it, so it... They're the same brand. They're both by Dino World. This right here is a... You know what, I should have checked what this is. I think it's a pencil case. Uh, hopefully there is color pencils in here. Aha! Wow. Okay, so there are pencils in here and they, they do not feel... I mean, this wasn't cheap. This is like 35 euros, which is... That's a lot. That's 37 euros! What else is in here? We got markers as well, but... Try me. Hold up. See if it makes a noise. Oh. It's broke. Hang on! Wait. Turn the lights out. Oh! That was not as epic as I... That's just giving me a really cool idea for this. So there we have it. We know what we're going to be using for today's video. The Dino World Coloring Book and the Dino World Coloring Pencil Case Set. This is going to be one of the biggest challenges I've had in this series because I don't really use children's art supplies. So that has already set a major challenge on this. And furthermore, I've never colored or drawn a dinosaur. I should have thought about this before I... Oh, this is gonna be embarrassing. Don't judge me. Okay, so here we have the Dino World coloring book, complete with a, oh, complete with a set of coloring pencils. And I gotta say, it is a nice addition that they come with these pencils. Although I'm not gonna be using them, they do look pretty legit and maybe we'll test them out later on to see just how good they are. But they don't look too bad. I like the marketing stuff all over them, but other than that, a good rule of thumb, the pencils, pens that come with coloring books are usually, usually pretty bad. Ooh, the dinosaurs are shiny. Taking a look on the back side of the coloring book, we have a pretty decent looking book and I think it comes with stickers. So let's open this book up and see what we've got inside. So it does have it. We do get a side-by-side -side thing here. So we get a little that. Wow. Who colored that? I'm not saying I could do better. Probably can't. But I'd like to think I can. What else we got going on? Okay, so one of the negatives about this book is that that side-by-side -side thing only seems to happen. There we go. So yeah, it's not every page, but some of these pages do have an example on the side for us to work with, which is cool. It's just a shame that not every one of these pages has it, and uh, it would have been nice. It really would have been nice. But 
I think what I'm going to do throughout this coloring book, when I eventually do decide which image I want to use, I think I'm going to do a basic one using the materials supplied with the pencil case, and then I'm going to move on to doing a professional piece using my own suppliers for comparison, and hopefully I can do a little bit better. Okay, so the page I have chosen to work with today is this one of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which I think is the obvious choice. I think for any dinosaur lover, the T-Rex is the big one, the favorite, and I think it is a good starting point, especially considering it has a point of reference. Now this reference actually has the colored pencils just here, so I think we're actually going to work with the pencils and see if we can do something better or, you know, different to what we have here. And then later on, we're going to try to do something a little bit more professional, maybe using my own art tools. Should be fun. Let's go. So right away, right after that intro, I have already decided that I will not be using the pencil case and I'm going to be using the pencils supplied with the coloring book itself. The reason is this just seems like it's going to be a much bigger challenge and I love to torture myself on camera for you but I am open to using the other pencils later on. Now then, the biggest issue we must tackle is right off the bat. The paper has no tooth, and this is a big problem. You see, tooth is required when using pencils as it's the resistance of the paper that allows the pencil lead to essentially be scratched off onto the surface. No texture, no scratch. No scratch, no results. So try as we might, we are left with two options. On one hand, we could apply too much pressure, thus giving us the coverage that we're looking for, but not allowing us to do any blending or layering later on. On the other hand, we could go soft. Now this will give us a lot less coverage, but will give us a possibility to do blending and layering later on, but this is not a guarantee. So doing this method is a high risk, high reward type situation. Now today I've opted for the soft approach, which means a much lengthier a drawing but hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. Wow, this is painful. I've had to begin adding some depth and that unfortunately requires pressure. A lot. Just to get some kind of coverage. It's... It's definitely a painful and exhausting experience here today. So after doing the little lefty side, I sort of got a feeling for the product and this is something I wish to illustrate every time I use a new product. Let the tool guide you. You are an artist, but you will have your methods, your favorite suppliers, and those methods won't always translate to other products. So it's a good idea to be adaptable. Now that doesn't mean you need skills or talent. It just means you need to respect what you're using and the limitations of what they are and work to their strengths, not to your own. For me, art is knowledge. It's not your wrist. It's not how you hold the pencil. It's your mind. It's how we all hold the pencil differently. Some of us use our feet and some of us aren't even human. We have the information in our minds to be great artists in our own right. Remember, art is subjective. We all understand color. We see it. We know shadows. We live with them and we know depth we see it in everything. So all you've got to do is free up your mind and open up to using these assets, that information you already have inside your mind. But these pencils are objectively awful. So rather than trying to make them work, I'm going to zone out now, play some music and just let them guide me. Try not to think about it too much. If something isn't working, I'm either going to move on, switch color, or I don't know really. Most importantly, I just don't care. I'm going to free up my mind. I don't care. I'm just going to chill and enjoy it. Maybe.
So I think now is a good time to let you in on a little secret. You are probably looking at this as I am and thinking, Hey man, that looks pretty good. Why thank you. But no, no it's not. A good trick I use in pretty much every one of my drawings is the addition of details, excessive details. I'll place scratches, lines, blends, bumps, lumps, wrinkles, anything that I can do to add more chaos. I'll do it. It makes my work look better when really it's actually quite messy. Our eyes are not telescopes and at a range they just blend details together. So I like to play on that. I get to make my art look great while at the same time I get to chill out and be a little bit lazy. I probably shouldn't have said that actually because now you're going to judge me. Okay, so yeah, this piece has been going on for some time. It's actually been happening for a few days now, which is around 15 to 20 hours of actual drawing time, which is a very long time. But that's not such a bad thing. I've actually moved my schedule around. I missed an upload last week just so I could get this done. The big problem I'm having here is the pain, the physical pain that these pencils and the paper are causing me. The amount of pressure I have to apply to get any kind of coverage is a little bit excessive and it is causing me some mental stress and I'm starting to wonder if it is worth the stress and the pain anymore. This may be the first coloring book to ever defeat me. And I think a really good message here is to say this. Sometimes it's okay to just say enough is enough. I'm done. I'm done. Probably not the ending you were expecting. Yes, this is one of the few times, in fact, it's the first time that a coloring book has bested me. Now this does happen, even to a professional artist, they will fail, they will give up. It's totally normal, it's totally natural. As I said throughout this video, if you are not enjoying what you are doing, it's totally fine and you should stop. There is no reason to carry on if you are not enjoying it. Art is supposed to be enjoyable, it's supposed to be relaxing, and as soon as it stops being that, walk away from it. We can come back to it at a later date, but right in that moment, it is best to stop. So it is time to take a look at where we got today. And I do hope, despite my failures, that you do enjoy today's results. So there you go, my dinosaur coloring is, my first ever dinosaur coloring is done. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you love it? Let me know in a comment down below. I gotta say, even though we didn't finish this entire page, I am still beyond proud. We've got Timmy the T-Rex right there looking, I love it. I don't... <laughs> okay, wait, I only used like four pencils to do this. And they were the worst pencils I've ever used in my life. I'm really proud of this. I, I feel so proud of what I've created here. And I think that this is good because it doesn't matter that I failed. It doesn't matter that I gave up or that I was beaten by this coloring book. Because let's face it, it's okay to say enough is enough. It's okay to walk away. It's okay to give up. I'm just happy that I'm able to take something away from this. That I was able to finish the dinosaur at least and... Despite how painful the experience was physically, this is one of the best colorings I've ever done. Under the circumstances, 
I couldn't have hoped. I couldn't have wished for better. I hope everyone liked it. So there we have it. The video is complete. What did you think about it? I do hope you enjoyed it here today. Now, before we sign off, there is one point I wanted to touch on, and that was regarding what I said in the beginning of the video about using my professional tools to do another piece. I think we did enough. I think we did enough today. We spent a long time on using those cheap pencils and to be honest, the results weren't too bad. It does beg the question, what would have happened had I used my professional tools? Maybe the results would have been better. Maybe the results would have been worse. I don't know. But I do know that, hey, although those pencils were really bad, they did yield some pretty good results in the end, albeit it did take a very long time. But yeah, that's what I'm here for. To torture myself. For you. With that all being said, my name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob. We look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, we're gonna go re- <laughs> Yeah! Come on! Who's a good boy? Yeah! No. Platz? Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> Zitz! Zitz! Fürchen? Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> Drehen? Gibber? Drehen? Na, was machst du? Nein? Hop! De okay, <laughs> ja, nicht scharf. Okay, drehen? Ja, good boy! Drehen? Ja, good boy! <laughs> Zitz! Fürchen? Ja, good boy! <laughs> I don't know if you can see any of that. <laughs>